We continue to preview the 2022 college football season, and today's stop is Golden, Colorado. We get to visit with the first-year head coach for the Colorado School of Mines or, or Diggers, Coach Brandon Moore. And, Coach, I say first year. I, I, I want to say new coach, but I think that's probably a misnomer. Uh, you were announced as the head coach in January, so you've been around for a few months, and obviously you've been around the program now for a few years as well. So talk about your, your first few months in the program. The boys are just about to report for camp. Well, I think uh, one of the most exciting things for all of us is that um, things can stay relatively the same. Uh, Grand, Greg Brandon built a program, and uh, this thing is, is really elevated in the last few years, and I've been fortunate enough to be a part of that. Um, I think it'd be foolish on my part to come in and, and rip the roots out and, and, and start over, so that's not what we're going to do. We just we pick the rifle up uh, right from where we left off and, and just going to continue to, to get better and, and, um, and be exactly who we are. Well, Coach, I know that high expectations are nothing new to you at all, and rightfully so. A couple of national publications have uh, minds picked number three or number four in the country, and picking up right where you left off, I would imagine, would be a good thing. 12-2 and two last year, national semifinalist. I think you have to start uh, where most people would start talking about players that are coming back. You want a quarterback to come back who's done well for you. John Matoka has done just that, passed for more than 3,100 yards last year, 38 touchdowns to only eight interceptions and rushed for nearly 500 yards with seven rushing touchdowns as well. I mean, the, the total offense is big, and I'm sure that's good to have him back. Oh, absolutely. Um, John's intangibles, I think, make him make him a special player for us. And and uh, he can do things with the football, with his feet that um, that help us win games. His, his relationship with our offensive coordinator, Pete Servick, um, has really started to develop, and they're really starting to turn a corner. They did this spring just in, in, in how they want to attack defenses and, and what they want their identity to be. Coach, he's not the only one, and I know there are so many players returning for, from both sides of the ball. Let's stay with the offensive side for just a little bit more. Michael Zeman at the running back position rushed for more than 1,600 yards last season as well and, and 21 rushing touchdowns, more than 300 yards receiving, seven reception, uh, touchdown receptions as well. Uh, I can't imagine anyone wanting, uh, being able to compliment as well as what Zeman's been able to do. Well, we've been fortunate. Um, John and, and, and Mike were both Harlan Hill contestants last year, and um, I think their dynamic and their relationship and, and, and the things that they do together I think are, are phenomenal. Um, uh, Mike does an incredible job with his, with his eyes and seeing holes, and, and he's, he's extremely difficult to tackle. He's excited coming into this year. He'll be a six-year senior. Um, he'll be a little bit older than, than a lot of the guys that he's going to play. But um, I think he's going to have an outstanding year. And we're, we're really excited to see kind of uh, what happens with that, with that whole dynamic. We're talking Ore Digger football now on Midwest Sports Net, and I encourage you, please do like this video, subscribe to the channel. It really does help a lot. Visiting with Coach Brandon Moore in his first season as the head coach at the program. Coach, one other thing about that offense, let me, let me read a few names here. Tristan Smith, Josh Johnston, Mason Carp, Max McLeod, uh, players that I know that Matoka has been able to find with frequency, regularity uh, over the course of last year, and they're all coming back to be a part of that offense again. Absolutely. I think Josh does a, a, an incredible job as a leader and as, as a, a receiver possessing the ball. He's a big play guy. We've got more speed there than we ha we've had in the past. Um, Max McLeod is, is going to come in and he's a very, very exciting player that um, I can't wait to see uh, how he produces this year. Um, but those guys do an excellent job blocking on the perimeter for Mike as well. Um, very, very unselfish group. Uh, which allows John to spread the ball around pretty evenly. Coach, I know you're very familiar with the defense, and I just want to give a couple of names to get started and, and let, let you take us through the defense because we do want to hear about that as well. Lots of times uh, when the offense is producing as well as what the Ordiggers offense has, uh, sometimes the defense just has to hold its own. But I know that you, you know more about that. Nolan Reeve, linebacker, Zach Hester on the defensive end. Uh, together, they – took in a ton of TFLs and combined for 14 sacks last year. Let's just start with them. Well, I think, um, I think it all starts with, with our D-line coach and, our, and our, who was just promoted to our defensive coordinator. Trip Thomas does a, an excellent job with those guys. We led the country in sacks last year, and that was um, 
greatly um, affected by him and, and, and his tutelage and the things that uh, that he was able to do with those guys up front. Um, Nolan is a tremendous player. We got him out of out of California. And when I set eyes on him, I knew he was going to be a difference maker for us and for this program. He's a true minds kid. Um, and he's going to have an exciting season this year. He's really, really excited and chomping at the bit. Um, doesn't like how he, he's he been kind of passed up for some awards and some other things. But, I mean, you know, his focus is is, is going to be on winning football games and, and helping us in that way. Our secondary, I think um, we have to talk about because uh, our, our sack numbers went up so drastically last year just because of how, how effective those guys were in the back end. And Anthony McCransky, who's who's our DB coach and and our pass game coordinator, um, is a minds grad, uh, speaks their language, um, knows who they are, and knows how to get the most out of them. And I think I think we've been fortunate um, to bring the to bring a guy like Anthony in, who, who's been able to um, to speak those to speak their language and, and kind of maybe try to explain things in a way to him that um, that is not typical, um, but. Jaden Williams, who, who's been a starter here for two or three years. And we got Logan Rayburn, who's going to replace Kobe Brewster, who, who, who's been a contributor the last couple of years. And I'm excited to see where, where he goes. And then you've got Cam Forrest, who had a nice breakout year last year, and Mason Pierce, who's who's on everybody's list um, as a returner, uh, has, has, has been definitely an impact player for us as, um, as a cornerback. Well, Coach, you, you get right into the fire right off the bat. A Thursday night game, you travel to Grand Valley State, and, and your uh, your schedule has to be one of the, the toughest in the country with those two as non-conference games with, with Grand Valley State. And I got ahead of myself almost there the very next week. It is a rematch of the national quarterfinal last year as you're at home to take on Angelo State, a game in which uh, mine's won 34-26. to 26 And then, of course, the, the RMAC schedule gets underway the very next week at Adams State. But can you take us through the opening to your schedule, a, a challenging one? Well, I mean, for, to say the least, they're, they're two very formidable opponents. Um, Grand Valley has a story program. They're always good. They're always a top 10 team. They're always a playoff contender, and they've won a couple of national championships. So um, it, it's, it's a heck of a way to start the season. Um, but it's it's one of those things where, you know, that's just kind of how we're built. We're built to surprise guys. We're built to come out and, and, um, and you form one opinion of us before when we get off the bus and you form another one when we get back on. So, um, you know, we're, we're going to take it in stride, do what we do, be who we are and, and go out and fight in those in those first two, three weeks. All right. Well, Ortigger football under the new head coach, the first year head coach, Brandon Moore. Coach, thank you so much for taking time with us today and success to you and to the Ortigger program. And we will continue to follow you over the course of this year. Success to you all. Thank you. I appreciate your time.